Hi, I'm Gia, and today I'm going to be rendering a portrait of Devin Aoki that I made. Um, and this is kind of be kind of be like a tutorial. Not really. It's kind of all over the place, but hang in there, you know. But here I'm just cleaning up the sketch um, because when I sketch, it's like really messy, and then I clean it up later. After that, I pick my base colors and I fill in the skin and the hair, the clothes and all that with the base color. I also prefer to manually color in everything because it gives me a feel that I'm actually drawing on paper. So please don't say anything about that. <laughs> After I block in all the colors, I go in and I start shading and I just take a more reddish, darker color than the skin tone and go around the edges and any like places that there's shadow. I kind of think about um, measuring as like makeup. So right now I'm putting a little bit of a lighter shade of the skin tone um, on the high points of her face because it'll create more definition later on. But sometimes I choose too much of like a pale color, which I did here. Later on I fix that with a more um, warmer tone and right now it kind of washes her out a little bit which was my mistake but i used a little bit of a warmer lighter color later on to fix that Here I take a more reddish kind of orange color for the blush and I go on a different layer and I set the layer to multiply, I think, and then uh, turn down the opacity and blend and that's gonna also help with um, shadows and stuff but I chose a more orangey kind of color because the whole entire vibe is more um, brown and warm tone. So I wanted to keep that going.
here I go in on a different layer. It's kind of like what we just did. But I go on a different layer and more, I choose more of like a blue, uh, purple tone. And I put that in my shadows because to balance out the colors and to give definition, um, it makes, yeah, it just makes it better. <laughs> After I do all of that, I go in a different layer that's above the line art layer to fix up the line art and go over it in brown um, most of the time, not always, but usually before I used to put it all in the same layer, but I had the fear that I would lose all the work. Also, sorry if you can hear my dog in the back. actually struggled quite a lot with the nose um at first i thought i made her nose too small and then i made it too big and then the shadows were all wonky and so then i had to like fix it so many times and i just i don't know i had to take a break from it and then i eventually kind of fixed it so now i think it looks okay but still it took me a while
Next, I'm just doing exactly what I did previously with the shadows and the blues and the purples and just putting a more intense purple for a shadow. This next like technique, I guess, I got it from TikTok, but <laughs> it's alright. It's basically supposed to help like a glow in the face. I don't know. I put a yellow in the middle of the face and then an orange surrounding the face, and then I blur it out with the guajin blur. And it's supposed to like make the skin more glowy and i wanted that especially because the picture was kind of like y2k and i kind of wanted to emulate that Honestly, for the hair, I do the exact same thing that I do with the skin. I just go around and do the shadows. Then I start to go over the liner and everything. And then I add highlights. It's literally the exact same thing I did with the skin. And for some reason, I struggled so hard with hair for a long, long time. And I just recently found out how to do it. And I don't know, I feel like you have to go through your own process of how you want to draw hair, but this is just how I draw hair. Um, and sometimes I don't always follow these like things that I'm showing you. <laughs> sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Also, I kind of forgot to mention, but my iPad does this weird thing with the screen protector that I have because I used to have a different screen protector and a different iPad, and it was the paper-like one, and now I have a different paper-like one. It's like a whole entire thing. But anyway, there's little lines that show up in places that I don't put lines. So if you see those lines, just ignore them because I'm going to fix it. I promise. I just, it just happens. I'm sorry. <laughs> Now I'm just adding the highlights that I did before, but this time really light because in the picture she has kind of like a mixture of colored hair. Lastly, I'm just adding some texture to her little, like, shirt she's wearing. She's a model, so, you know, important. And this is the final product. I hope you guys liked it. And also, tell me what you guys want to see, because I can do more videos like this, or I can do how more tutorials you know so thanks for watching